thank you very much. And, uh, it's really a pleasure to be back and uh, to continue the extraordinarily fruitful dialogue that we've had over the past uh, two and a half years. Uh, I think the, the great virtue of these strategic dialogues is that it complements all the work that we do together uh, in the security realm and the, and the broader regional and political issues and economic issues. Uh, but we have a chance uh, periodically to step back and look at the broader trends, the deeper issues, the longer term uh, challenges that we face and, and use them as sort of a guide to meeting the day-to-day -day challenges which are so obvious uh, as we deal with the events that are taking place throughout this region. And it's a reflection of the deep partnership and the great uh, confidence that we have in each other that we can take the time to really delve in depth, share in the candid assessments of, of what's going on, try to identify the important trends and the, and the strategic interests that we both have. Uh, there's no doubt that it's a unique uh, partnership between our two countries, and I've been grateful over the last two and a half years to the Deputy Minister for the strong friendship and the, and the willingness to sustain these dialogues both in the formal settings and the fact that we do see each other regularly. Uh, we clearly are going to talk about uh, this remarkable set of political developments throughout the region, but also some of the longer term issues like the problems of proliferation, Iran's nuclear program, and other deep challenges to our, our security and our long term interest. We have a partnership of values and of interest, and it's one that uh, the strategic dialogue I know is going to uh, continue. So thank you again, and I appreciate the good wishes as I move on to new chapters. But uh, however, uh, in what capacity, I look forward to continuing to work with you. You're thank very you. welcome here anytime. Thank you. Very Steinberg. The United States has just placed its first sanctions on Bashar Assad. A few days ago in Israel, we had a very serious border incident with, on the Syrian border. Has the U.S. taken into its considerations the possibility that these sanctions may lead to further friction uh, between Syria and Israel? Is that one of the subjects you're going to be discussing uh, with, uh, with uh, the Deputy Secretary? Well, we're certainly going to talk about uh, developments in Syria. Uh, it's an important set of developments. The United States, like uh, Israel, is deeply concerned about the actions of the Syrian government, the, the really brutal use of force against its own people, really uh, unacceptable by anybody's uh, definition. And uh, I think it's a reflection of the broad uh, concern, not just of the United States and of Israel, but the international community uh, that both the United States and the European Union have taken uh, additional measures to address uh, our very deep concern about this. And as uh, the Secretary of State have said, this is uh, a clear signal uh, to uh, the government of Syria and to its leadership that it needs to, to change its course uh, to uh, recognize the legitimate aspirations of its people, to respond uh, and to meet their needs uh, rather than to meet them with violence. And uh, it's a clear expression of our uh, determination and the importance that we attach to this issue. And I look forward to discussing uh, with the, the Deputy Minister uh, how we see developments uh, in Syria and how uh, we can uh, work together both to uh, support the, uh, the democratic aspirations of the Syrian people and also to build a broader security uh, environment for all of us in this region. Uh, should Israel be worried from the President's speech later tonight? Uh, I'm confident Israel has nothing to worry about from the President's speech. The President has long reiterated the strong uh, partnership and the deep ties between our two countries, and I think his commitment to this region, to the partnership with Israel, is something he'll not only speak about uh, today, but also uh, in his speech on Sunday, uh, really reflects a, a deep uh, sense that our, our, our fates are intertwined, our interests are in common, and that we have a common interest in seeing these uh, developments throughout the Middle East uh, be successful because uh, we share a deep commitment to uh, the democratic values that uh, so many people in the region are seeking to achieve.